Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Jacob Flake here, and today I am back with another stalker anomaly video. And I'm gonna be teaching you how to optimize or make the make stalker anomaly, which is a mod for called Pripyat, not to stutter in game or have any FPS drops or something like that. For a low-end PC, because I have a low-end PC, and the settings that I put, you just uh, go to the options. These options may render type. If you have a low-end PC, select DirectX 8. You can select it in the launcher before you enter the game. If I'm using the resolution 720p, that's what my my game runs best at. I have like a a really old graphics card, a 256 megabyte ATI Radeon HD 4000 4500 series HD, and with this resolution right here, it runs quite well. The FOV doesn't really matter. Running in full screen, not in borderless, because um, that actually drops your FPS. Now, we'll be heading over to the advanced tab, which you see over here. See that these are the best options right here for the game to be running at. Well, with it still looking good, first option vision distance, put that maximum. Object detail, maximum. Texture detail, it's like almost there, just a bit back, not full. Do not use anastrophic filtering or anti aliasing because that's gonna make your game really lag. Now for the rendering distance static objects up to full because if you put your static objects up to halfway or even turn it off, it's like the game. The game will be constantly loading in items when you are moving, and so the game will be constantly lagging. So if it if the game loads in everything like once, it won't lag at all. Like only a tiny bit, but that's dynamic objects only like a quarter. Now dynamic objects just only put like a quarter, halfway quarter. Shadows, even if you put this off, it's up to your, up to your own choice. Grass detail density. I suggest you can put this like halfway or uh, three quarters. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just don't put on maximum if you like have a low end PC. Rendering distance halfway. Grass size. Right, right around halfway. Not like, don't put it, don't put it like this far. Just put it like somewhere around here, and it'll be fine. NPC flashlights. You can turn it on. Detailed textures. I haven't really found any performance improvements, um, with or without detailed check textures. I don't know. If you don't really notice um, any performance drop with detailed textures, just leave it on. Now, what might be limiting your FPS is vertical sync. Now, what vertical sync does is that your is an option that limits your FPS to your monitor's refresh rate. For example, I have a 60 hz monitor, so if I turn on the option vertical sync, it will limit. It will limit my FPS to 60, so it won't get go any higher. It's only useful if, like, if you have a high-end graphics card and you're running this game with like a really high frame rate, then just on a 60 hertz monitor, then just turn on vertical sync. For the frequency, 60 hertz, you can leave it on or off. It doesn't really matter. Only if the game doesn't detect the, the frequency or the hertz for your monitor, then just turn this uh, option on. I mean, right now, Beta 3.0, which I'm running at right now, 
it's um, not really stable for add-ons since like you get lots of FPS drops if you're like using a low-end PC. And I think people with high-end PCs as well. As you can see, so, uh, the game is running fine. Just a bit stuttery because I'm recording. But that's all well. If you're getting like lots of FPS drops and when you look at certain parts of the map, it like drops your FPS. For example, if I'm looking at a, a a big uh, area full of bushes then it'll drop your frames but depends on how you s select the rendering distance for the static objects or dynamic objects and if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and if this helped you please leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video cheers